Hello everyone, Draj here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a different video than usual. Uh, if you have, haven't have heard of it yet, RuneScape, or well, Jaggeds, has released their own trading card game. Um, for the computer, of course. But it is called Chronicle. It is actually very different than most I've played and experienced. Now this is a new one right here that looks like there's now actually daily rewards. That will actually be kind of nice. Alright. Alright, now this was the final ranking from the uh, season. Let me see if I can't get the, uh... Ah, right, here we go. There we go. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> Couldn't hear myself over the, uh... There we go. Alright. Now, during each of the card seasons, there's actually different kind of, uh... Rewards. I think most of them are, like, for special card backs. Alright, and the contents of the chest are based upon that. I got a Silver Master, a new monster, a new badge, new title. Now, I didn't get into... Now, I'll be going into the new one, but now I'm going to open some of the boosters. Just to show you what I got here. I believe you get five cards per booster. Alright, so I got an Arion, Venescula, Venescula, All, and a Lenza card. Now these are, like the ones that actually have the names above them are meant for certain ones and only those heroes, those legends can use them. But if it says All, that means everybody can use it. Uh, the different rarities are actually determined by the uh, gemstones that are actually. Uh, uncommon is green. Regular is the sapphire. Uh, diamond is the rarest, I believe. Because I don't believe they have dragonstone cards yet. Okay. And you usually get at least one uncommon per thing. Sometimes you can get even better than that. Okay. This is the last pack for today. Well, for this. Ooh, see, there I got an uh, uncommon card even before that. And there I got a rare card, which is the ruby card. Okay. So now that that's figured out, okay, you do have different... Uh, you know, things here just like anything else. There is the store. You know, you can go to the Chronicle shop. You can buy different things. Um, you can buy platinum. That's up to you if you really want to. You have featured contact or oh, content. But there's different types of boosters. There's not too many. It's just a uh, size quantity, pretty much. Uh, but if you can, what you want to do is you want to try to save as much platinum as you can. This way, you can get the 50 booster pack combo. Uh, you have different skins you can get for each hero or legend. I believe each one has three. But they're pretty cool looking. Uh, okay, now you got your collections. This is the cards you have. You can actually customize and make your own decks. Uh, that is actually very useful, but that's more for if you are kind of used to it. Uh, I'm somewhat used to it, but not quite. As you can see, I only have a 39% win rate. It's not too great, but it's not horrible either, but it's not where I would like it to be. Um, you can have different uh, card backs. As you can see, I have Pioneer of it because I actually... Uh, took part in the beta that took place for this game. Okay, so this season ends in 29 days and 9 hours. And right now, 
Uh, I'm rank 10 of the basic of the base with this. Uh, there's different types of titles you can get, title and badge. I think it's kind of neat. Uh, me personally, I kind of like the green. Uh, I might end up changing it. You know, maybe if you guys have one you would like to see me use, and you know, I, I could do that. Alright. Okay, I was just checking to see if, uh, I'm going to go with the Diviner. Okay, now. Huh. I'm not sure how you change the badge. Oh. Right there, it <laughs> shows the badge. Alright. See, I can go for different things right through here. I think I might actually go for the Pioneer badge. <laughs> Mostly because it's very unique. Uh, that's not the Pioneer, is it? Huh. I think it actually might be the Pioneer. Yeah, I believe it is. Alright. So that's it for that part. It shows you your progress. Now, there's a couple things to do. Uh, you can go into the Dungeoneering part of this. But you need either 1500 coins or you need 100 platinum. If you buy your platinum, you can. Uh, down in the bottom right, there is daily quests. Uh, there is an epic quest. You can only do those every so often, but that gives you 1000 of the, uh, what is it, copper coins. Okay, yeah. And then you have other daily quests you can do. Uh, now, there's actually quite a bit more for those than there is for the others. But those are your daily quests, and my daily quest, well, my epic quest, is Linza or Raptor. So whenever I go to play in here, uh, there's a few different ways of doing it. You can play solo, you can play casual, which is just for fun against other people. Solo is against the uh, computer, of course. But then you have ranked. Now I'm going to do a ranked match, and since I have Linza and Raptor is my ones that are my epic quest. I want to get those done first. Now sometimes it can take a little while for to find somebody. That's understandable. The game is relatively kind of new yet, but it's kind of been out there for a little bit. But there just hasn't much been much advertisement for it. Alright, see it didn't take too long. I got a feeling as it gets more and more out there, you'll find it gets more and more popular. I want to turn down the sound effects just a little bit. Okay, now one person will go first, one person will go second. If you go second, you get an extra card. Uh, it'll tell you right here. Second it is. See, I go second, so I get an extra card, they don't. Uh, you get to pick any cards you want to swap out. So for right now, I think I'll actually keep that set up, so I'll confirm that. <clears throat> this game actually is kind of a lot of fun. Uh, I know not everybody is probably used to this kind of game. But it is, it's actually a good deal of fun. Yep, I'm ready. See, now compared to most card games, you go straight into playing cards. Uh, this one, you actually create your own adventure, and it's a five part series. So you want to try to build up till the end, if you can, or you want to try to attack your opponent directly. There is different ways of attacking your opponent. <laughs> need to get gold to buy certain items, you need to get gold for different various things. Um, each character actually has different things they can do. Uh, Venescula, she is the vampire. Linza is a smith. But as you can see, there is a good deal of variation for this game already. Uh, 
All right. See, now I'm on chapter two. I <laughs> hold up three fingers, but chapter two. Okay. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and go for barrel chest because he adds to my weapon. I'm going to remove three support. Do that. Um, I don't want to draw more cards, so I'm going to do that. Yep, I'm ready. <laughs> See, the nice thing is, like, you don't know what your opponent's going to do. I mean, they could do something really devious. They can do something kind of plain. You never know. Now, I am going to take a decent amount of damage for that, but I have something that's going to heal me pretty soon anyway, so that's not too much of a big deal to me. But a lot of people in this game, I notice, they like to kind of attack your health points directly. So if you have a good counter to it like this, you know, constantly healing, you should be alright. Now I haven't used my Linza deck in a while, so I'm not sure how good it is. I mean, as you can tell. Okay, now. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Get a 1-1 one, one for that. Heal again. Actually, let's heal first, then do that. Then I'll draw four cards. Yep, I'm ready. <clears throat> See, for me, with Linza, it's mostly about trying to build up your weapon and other things like that. Now, I'm not getting the cards that I really like to get with her. Um, you can actually build up her attack to the point of where... Hello, young singer. I love that part. Hello, young singer. Oh, what? <laughs> See, there I got to deal quite a large amount of damage to her. I completed a task already, so I get to claim Ow. that. It's a good thing I actually healed. But I have a feeling she is going to win. Well, he, she, whatever it is. Because all they're doing is having cards that are attacking my health directly. And I'm, this particular one is not set up to battle that. So I'm kind of at a disadvantage right now. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. I have low health. I must be careful. Okay. Careful. We'll do this. That'll remove my weapon. We'll do this. That'll get me three attack. We'll do that to get me more attack. Well, that'll bring me up to four. Okay, so I don't want to, I don't want to go too risky, but I can't be sitting back because odds yep, are she I'm has ready. a lot more cards to attack my life points directly. So I have a feeling if anything, she is going to win. Yeah. See, they, their deck is built specifically around it. And so you can build for different situations, but then it's going to leave you vulnerable to other situations. But as you can see, this game plays a lot different than traditional well, card games. Uh, if you lose, you don't really get anything. Uh, it doesn't really hurt much, but it doesn't really help anything either. Because I'm at right now, I'm at the lowest level you can be for the season, so that's what happened. Uh, but this is Chronicle. I'm probably going to do a series on it because it is actually kind of fun. I might do maybe one episode per week. Uh, it might be on the weekends. Well, 
at some point. Because I like to have a certain release rotation. But this is a very good game. I'd highly recommend it. It's a very unique twist on the uh, online card games. I mean, yeah, I know there's a lot of companies that have done card games. But as you have seen, uh, if you have played or seen Hearthstone, you know, the World of Warcraft Blizzard version, uh, well, their card game, you can see there, yeah, there is some similarities, but there's some similarities between that and, uh, I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! There's some similarities between that and, uh, you know, Pokemon and <laughs> Chaotic and all these other card games. So, like, they all, if you really want to look into it, they all have similarities with each other. But this one has its very own unique twist to it, and that is the adventure process. Uh, there might be others that have that, too. I'm not sure. I haven't seen that. But this is Chronicle. It's very good. It's very strategic. So uh, go ahead and go check it out. You can find the link through RuneScape's website itself at runescape.com. Uh, also, I will provide a link below in the bottom uh, just in case you want to try it out. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later, guys.